And uh, they are coming out on Monday with all the clubs also, club reps, to clear the field, to make sure it's a playing field. In the next few weeks, this football field is expected to be the scene of massive work to ensure the community enjoys the fruits of its talented footballers deep in the heart of the town. Well, from sports, let's now take a quick look at the weather report, courtesy of the Centre Forecast Office. Oh yes, you can drive your way there with the Elton Tomeka Jafale Kafo promo. The Hajj is possible. Stay loyal or become a member of the Elton Jafale Kafo today and enjoy the double take. Because every time you fill your tank at any of our Elton stations, you get a chance to be in our monthly raffle draw. To take home lots of goodies like gallons of oil, bags of rice, bags of sugar, vehicle accessories and much more. Plus a chance to become the lucky winner of the Elton Tomeka Jafale Kafo fully paid Hajj expenses. Remember. It's a double take, your single loyalty for the monthly draw and the Elton to Mecca Japale Cafo final draw to be held just before the hive. For more information, drop by any of our Elton station. Elton, a new vision. Hello there, wonderful viewers. Welcome to the weather segment. We begin with the summary. We experienced a humid and relatively cloudy atmosphere and rain affected some places. We got recorded as follows. Sapo recorded the highest with 44.5 mm, Yundum 21.7, Jenjamburu recorded 17.8 mm, Kawur 15.8, Base 6.8 mm, Karawan 2.8 mm, Fatwata recorded 2.5 and Banjo recorded the list with 0.6 mm. We now take a look at the satellite image indicating the presence of convective clouds over parts of Gulf of Guinea states, Nigeria, the central and the eastern part. There is also a cell over Mali moving westwards which will persist in the next 24 hours. For the forecast tonight, we are expecting rain and thunderstorm to affect places which will become variably cloudy thereafter. The day tomorrow, we'll be expecting humid and mostly cloudy atmosphere to prevail over the entire country, with chances of rain showers and autumn storm to prevail in the morning. These conditions will give way to variably cloudy and occasionally breezy atmosphere in the afternoon. Light, gentle, southerly breeze will dominate the flow in the, after, in the morning, varying to westerly breeze in the afternoon. Morning temperatures will vary between 23 and 25 degrees Celsius, whilst afternoon temperatures will vary between 28 and 32 degrees Celsius. For those going to sea, we will be expecting a low tide of 0.57 meters at 9.33 a.m. and also 0.5 meters at 10.04 p.m. For the high tides, we will be expecting 1.5 meters at 3.24 a.m. and also 1.4 meters at 3.48 p.m. Wave heights will vary between 1 to 2 meters high and they will be mainly southwesterly swells. The sun will rise at 06.50 and will set at 19.26. Thanks for watching and we now take a look at the city forecast. Thank you, Hadi. And uh, before we go, reminder of our headlines, government has repeated widespread rumors and speculations on the pronouncement made by the president on the implementation of the death penalty in the Gambia, calling them irresponsible spreading of wrong information. The Social Development Fund and Ministry of Finance and Economic Affairs have been validating the draft national microfinance policy. Malian opposition groups are threatening to drag inter interim president John Kunda Trawale to court over the appointment of three special advisors. And a Norwegian court has sentenced Anders Breivik to 21 years in prison for killing 77 people. You can monitor GRT's radio live on www.grts.gm. That brings us to the end of the news. Thank you very much for your time. And on behalf of the news team, I am Fatou Kamara wishing you all a beautiful weekend.
financial services xam nañu dimbalante moy yok conformerum te it dakh nak suñu bir ba tax nañu yombal te it gën fe gawla yone wala jot sa yobante xaliss ci rew mi yep ci bu sa ben bouton rek nga jot ci xaliss ci saasi ba tax na moussa ya ngi ni ci bañul yone xaliss contract ombi ci basse abla ya ngi ni serekunda di yone school fi ci doomu mi ci bant ay seto ngi ni bikam di yone yaayam xaliss ci som modo ngi ni farafine di yone ni yaayam xaliss ci baara fepp fu way bu ne mun nga yone wala jot sa yobante xaliss ndax la financial services dañu am ñaar tukka ñaar ba xass ni ci place yu bax ci meew mi yep do sonn do xejo ci ndek lu yomba yo kon yo bantel ak clients ci lu yomba te gaaw when i was a young boy we didn't have everything we wanted but my parents taught me the importance of real determination which is all that i needed only by looking back did i realize just how much others had given so selflessly for me to reach these heights so i set about repaying their great acts of kindness which is why today is a day i will always remember for i now understand that for future generations to have the best chance in life it depends not on how much you have but on how much you are willing to give peak it's in you it is a tournament that captures millions of viewers around the world it is the most prestigious club competition in European and world football. This is the European Champions League starting September 18, 2012. Sponsors invited. It is a tournament that captures millions of viewers around the world. It is the most prestigious club competition in European and world football. This is the European Champions League starting September 18, 2012. Sponsors invited.